I find a lot of stuff online and a lot of stuff I'm like, I'm gonna make a video about that because that's funny or I'm gonna make a video, video about that because I hate that or I'm gonna make a video about that because I love that or I'm gonna make a video about, about that because that's funny. Sometimes there's a mix of all, all those things and usually I find this on either, you guessed it, TikTok or Instagram. There are people on those platforms that are mind boggling. All right, Jay, now you gotta try the double chomp chocolate cookie. And those platforms have allowed anybody to gain a modicum at the very minimum of fame and a big, a big come of fortune by posting silly little clips. Well, I wonder if they really spank people in here why it's called spankies. Now, many of those people struggle to retain their fame and they have to put the fries in the bag, bro. As the children say, Frankie is Gen Z. She loves it whenever I, uh, whenever I pop out a Gen Z reference. It may be decades before the truth around this case comes to light and the survivors will speak up when they are ready. But I would like to start uploading again. Lately, we've been highlighting different conspiracies or mysteries or investigations on the channel, a little bit of historical stuff. But today, it's, inter it's interesting because this is someone I've seen for a long time and it's a part of Instagram that I've seen for a long time and I'm, I'm a bit of a hater. All right, I'm a bit of a hater. Yeah, I, I made the Hawk to a video, a little bit of a hater. I apologize. Sometimes I get a little bit, I've become a little bit of a hater, a little bit of a troll, a little bit of a goblin down in the old town of Nilbog drinking green. They're eating her. And then they're going to eat me. You've seen flashes of this person and you've probably seen or maybe even know people like this, but it's people like Shannon Blake, this person. This is Shannon Blake. This is a character on the internet that is really interesting and a lot of people absolutely despise this person and a lot of people actually really like Shannon Blake and I do respect that. But some of this is such high level cringe that it's difficult to not be a hater. So I'm gonna try to be non-biased, non-biased hater, respectful hater a little bit. No, <laughs> that? Damn bug on my face, what the f Today we're going to be investigating why so many people hate Shannon Blake, a internet shroom head musician person originally from Bluffdale, Utah. Hi. Hi, I can use some self love. You've come to the right place. She's a 29 year old musician. She's only recently started blowing up. She's been on the internet for a while and has made content for years, including a hit song called Stop, Wait a Minute that was released in 2018 that sounds like this. That's the beat and I can't play any of it or get copyright claimed because she's very aggressive with that. But and it's like, it's, it's bad. It's very, it's not my type of music. A lot of people like it. Not me though. Sorry. From what I can gather, she is basically your average head slash head who just loves nature. Maybe a little bit too much. She lives in LA. And I think her music is like her sort of driving force of success. And she began making a career out of it. And she has posted more and more of her own personal songs. And I think she blew up in COVID time. That's when she actually sort of blew up. She takes it to the extreme though, and I think that's why people really don't like her much. She wears some tribal stuff. She talks about spirits. You're high level hippie, it seems like. A zealous hippie. This bitch got leaves in her car, okay? <laughs> I don't mean to be disrespectful. Call her the B word, I'm sorry. But she got leaves in her car, and that shit's crazy. All right, that's distracting. I cannot imagine a more distracting thing while driving. The window down, blowing that shit everywhere. I mean, dude, this is an old post of Shannon Blake. This is 586 weeks ago. I don't know how many years 586 weeks is, but that's a long time ago. She has dreads in that photo, and the reason I'm showing that is because that will be important in the future, and that is going to sort of get, it's, people don't like that a lot, all right? People don't like that a lot. She took that initial vibe that she's had for a very long time and turned herself into some kind of tribal mascot covered in necklaces and tattoos and rings and shit and just leaves and like uh spirit i mean this is it's a lot to look at it's a lot to look at i can't help but think that that's an instant posing you're not a shaman you're not a f sh are you a shaman you live in los angeles how do you be a shaman and live in los angeles how do you be a musician and have any kind of spiritual connection with anything that isn't just like completely made up and westernized. She's a very prolific musician as well, I've noticed. I do have a lot of respect of that. She has a lot of songs, they all sound the same to me. Not a dig, it's a genre, I think. You know, I'm not really into that type of music. I can't really tell the difference, all right? And the comments, guys. This is really where it gets into it. 
there is not a this is this is this is this is there's not a single positive comment amongst them in this she inhaled barbecue smoke once and now she thinks she's the whole burning man festival her father definitely works for lockheed martin <laughs> Taking drugs doesn't make you someone spiritual. That's fair. This is me, actually, legitimately. Agrand743, you are me. I'm trying not to be a pretentious prick about music, but these people make it really hard. Is that true, Volko? Was it you? <laughs> no hate. Once again, not hurting anybody for sure, but it's just like one of those sort of glaring TikTok things that I can't escape. I've blocked her. I've literally blocked her. I still. I still get meme pages posting it. Wow, nothing's more spiritual than using AI for a music video. Oh look, top comment, because nothing says connected to the natural world like AI generated graphics. Oh, there are some positive people. That, that's good to see. I like, I actually, yeah, that's sort of a relief because I really, I, you know, I don't want to be a total hater, dude. I don't want to be a total hater. This resonates with my vibrational frequency. It'd be funny if she just put like scary shit in there. So her audience that may potentially be tripping balls while watching and listening to the, the, the video just sees some like a still screen from SpongeBob, just <clears throat> like a close up of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. or something. What is this, by the way? This big old dick in front of me, this old doink. What is this thing? Get this thing out of here. What the f and that reminds me, use code STARSEED to get 20% off sour.gg. I make sour candy. Did I mention that, guys? It's literally just candy. Just normal, normal candy, plant-based, natural dyes, natural flavors, everything from natural sources. You can buy it online, direct to consumer. Use code STARSEED to get 20% off. We also drop a new flavor every single Friday at 3 Central Standard, so good luck keeping up with it. The flavors are all limited, by the way. We make a new one every single week, and then they just don't exist anymore. I'm not even joking, we make a new one every single week. It's crazy. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. Nature, third eye, energy vampires, nature. It's love nature. I am so in tune with nature, yet I have never taken a life. I don't know how you can pretend to be one with the circle of life, one with the cyclical nature of mother nature and not take something out of that cycle. So let's go back to the ayahuasca tune a little bit. We can't play the music, so I'm gonna sing it for you. I've been chilling in the dump for real. And you know, like in the shamans too. Come on, champagne, drone and shift the mood. She's got broccoli on the ceiling. That's weird as The hat, I mean, what is going on here? This looks like the necklace that that bitch wears in Game of Thrones when she, the, the, the long, the long goodbye poison where she eats the kiss, Marcella, kisses Marcella, Lannister, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> And then he goes, or whatever the f This is just a lot. I feel like people who are very spiritual and in tune with nature and isn't like the whole basis of that to dispose of vanity? This reeks of vanity. And I feel like that's the reason why I can, can reasonably make this video and not feel like too much of an asshole because I do have empathy. But wearing like a thousand dollar outfit, I think, I'm not exactly sure, and just being surrounded by accoutrements while talking about drinking ayahuasca with shamans, that's weird. That just seems weird to me. So I get the hate and I get the love, man. I just wouldn't get it. Hi, my little shroomies. I've been cooking, I've been eating. Chef Shannon has also been creating a recipe for the most majestical magic tour of your entire life. So I wanted to hop on here and talk about shit. Basically done planning my 2024 tour, Divine Dopamine. It's my first brain rot is the top comment. <laughs> oh, a lot of people like this though. I remember my hippie phase. Oh wow, yeah. This is that's big head. That's big hair. The hair is crazy, dude. Sh little shroomies. I feel like I'm almost shitting raining on a parade. I don't I feel bad a little bit. But also, this wouldn't be an Oompaville video without drama. Spreading peace and love, very easy, okay, guys? Especially when you fall into some drama. So let's go back a little bit. Shannon would be grinding for years and years until her TikToks would finally blow up, specifically the ones of her singing her beautiful music. Some of her earliest TikToks were her sitting in her car and singing her awesome TikTok songs. And what seemed to draw people to that amazing content was her eccentric hippie style and unique flow and rhythm and song lyrics. I've 
been taking LSD and eating mushrooms. Reality is coming apart at this seems. My dad works for Lockheed Martin. He helps make MRAMs. Hellfire missile going through the sky. In the beginning, there were three main camps that plagued her comment section. First, the people who really enjoyed her vibe and her music, the actual fans of Shannon, they claimed that they found her music to be beautiful, calming, etc., which is totally valid. You know, music is a subjective thing, and that's the beauty of all forms of art, and for me, specifically music. I love being able to see someone, meet someone who has a totally different taste of music than me, and listen to it, keep an open mind, and be like, oh, that's interesting, and add a couple songs. I have the wackiest playlist ever. Another camp, Gooners. People who are saying that she is their dream girl, pretty much. They're obsessed with her classic parasocial male to female relationship. Gooners, gooning, bro. Gooning! I can be the worst mood, I swear. This video puts a smile on my face every time your vibes are unparalleled to any other. It's gonna be hard to be that gorgeous, my goodness. It's actually very easy. Dream Woman X, you are my dream girl. A hard watch. So many simps in these comments, said Bend Over. Shannon's videos would really blow up in 2022, 2023, and 2024. I think they're at the biggest they probably ever have been now at this point. Through all that, she posted the same style of video. A lot of them just in her car every so often. When attention died down, a new wave of people, like she's, she's got a pretty long candle, to be honest, at this point. And I think the bizarre nature of the way she presents herself and speaks and the lyrics of her songs, the hyper hippie, extremely painfully stereotypical person that she sells herself as, I think that's why it's worked for such a long time. You know, if you weren't aware that she's a hippie, if you couldn't tell that by now, if you couldn't tell the, the way she dresses, her piercings, tattoos, dreadlocks, if you look at the lyrics of her songs, it's all painfully stereotypical. In my opinion, now this is, this is how, I, this is the vibe that I get from her. Female island boy, female island girl. She's an island girl. That's, what she reminds me of legitimately. And I'm not trying to be like, cause those guys suck. They are so f annoying and worthless. She's not even close to that level, but that's what it, that's really what it reminds me of. I'm an island girl, took a little bit of acid. I'm an island girl, ate a little bit of shroom. Huh? Seems like she's had her thing for quite a while, but we showed the video from 2018. She just looked kind of normal. And now she's a mega f uber hippie. There's been a massive progression in her physical appearance. I think it has progressed as she's realized that the more she poses as a hippie, the more people will be interested. The more she stands out like a f literal bird, like a bird, like birds, you know, they look weird and they got crazy shit all over them and they just look insane. You're like this bird and this bird. Hey bud, would you shut the f up? <laughs> Daddy's working. If this is work, I don't really f know to be honest. <laughs> People do change over time. I'm willing to admit that. I recognize that fact 100%. I've changed massively over the last few years. If you're the same person that you were in high school, you probably haven't matured much as a person, but this is like, this is a phase a lot of people have. I've known a couple people who've gone through their hippie, vegan, weirdo phase, and it almost always passes. But this time it's become an aesthetic to sell a product. And that's, that's weird. That's really weird. I would like to see the people who listen to Fish, who listen to the Grateful Dead, like the old school kind of pre-social media hippies, Gen Millennial hippies, all right? What do they think? And Gen X hippies, what do y'all think of this? That's whose opinion I really care about. I'm just a non-biased figurehead on the internet, just, you know, looking at things that are interesting. This is a scary image, by the way. It keeps looking at me. Shannon has really played into this image and gone very deep down this aesthetic. It seems to have worked out fairly well, aside from a few controversies since her gaining fame. One of the controversies surrounds her aesthetics. Many people have questioned whether or not she is culturally appropriating. And by the way, I'm going to be real with you. I don't, I don't really care about that. I don't have culture to appropriate, so I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm not going to be upset on the beh on behalf of someone. If someone is upset and they have their own culture, they feel is being appropriated. I think that's perfectly reasonable. And I'm, I don't hate that. I, you know, I'm not against it or whatever the f But for me, it's just like, I'm very apathetic. I don't give a f Should you be doing it? I don't know. Am I going to do it? No, definitely not. Because I respect culture or I try to at least. But at the same time, it's like, you know, this is, you know, I don't think she really 
cares that she's appropriating the culture. In her videos, though, she talks about burning sage, spirit guides, having dreadlocks. In this upset a lot of people, as you can probably imagine. They claim that she is appropriating other cultures and that she is a big time mega capitalist and more so than any hippie that they have ever seen before, which I I have to agree. I'm well aware that I attract what I allow in. Got a little, got a poopy in my butt, got a fart in my poop pin. Ripping blinkers at the store. People have also called out her using sage claiming that she is white and not native and that you have to be native and have like some kind of um, uh, license to use sage. But ironically enough, she replied to that by showing a Cherokee Nation ID card, which dispelled that quickly. That's the license to be able to use sage apparently. No disrespect, I burned a lot of sage. I've been around a lot of people who are non-native that burn sage and it's, um, you're burning culinary sage, right? White sage isn't for white people. It's surprising, I know. We get away with a lot of stuff that we're really maybe not supposed to. We've taken so much already, and white sage- I love it when white people fight. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it when white people fight. White people fight. I love it when white people fight, man. I'm Sicilian, what's that mean? I'm Sicilian and Lebanese. So in spite of her literally dropping the race card in a video reply to someone balking at her and virtue signaling and that she's, uh, white people are trying, I don't, I, she dropped the f Cherokee Nation card. I've gotta say, that's pretty impressive uh, and kind of awesome. People are still convinced that she is using cultural appropriation as a vehicle to make money. I feel like just the f epic cringe is enough of a bad thing that she's using to, <laughs> the, the nature hippie thing as a vehicle to make money is already ironic enough. It's like self-defeating. It's it's great. I love it. There's a video some people bring up about her being in the mountains of Peru wearing a traditional Peruvian dress, working hard, planting potatoes, which I don't know anything about that. I don't know if she is Peruvian or if she's pretending to be Peruvian in those little white hairy boots. Top comment is, as a Peruvian, I'm hyphen, and there's nothing there, so I don't know. Would you still go even if you couldn't post it on your social accounts? Probably not. To me, it just reeks of irony and just like the pinnacle of vanity and like the dystopian world that we currently live in. There's quite a few people mad about these videos, specifically the Peruvian one. Is, is it even volunteering if you didn't record it? <laughs> if you do volunteer charity work in the woods and no one's around to hear you do it and you didn't record it, did you actually do volunteer charity work? I don't think so, bitch. She loves responding to the people who call her out for appropriating cultures for money. And uh, she writes in the caption of this response, the following. For the people in the back, I'm Native American and Hispanic and Irish. I grew up in a family that speaks fluent Spanish. I'm not gonna do any more. Visiting my relatives in Mexico, often in eating homemade tacos. I grew up doing plant medicine, burning sage, doing sweat lodges in teepees and connecting with my ancestors as a part of my culture. My great-great-grandfather was a famous Cherokee chief, so please stop telling people what their race is and what they can and can't do. You are unaware that this is offensive. If someone has light skin, it doesn't mean that they are white. It doesn't? I didn't know that. So once again, whole cultural appropriation thing, not really my battle. I, uh, to be honest, white guy mustache, backwards hat, burlap jacket or whatever the f and cult, uh, you know. So I'm not really, I'll be fine. Right? I will say some of it seems valid. And her response is I mean, I didn't even know you could get a Cherokee Nation ID card. That's pretty cool. I'm sure someone in the comments of this video would be like, actually, Uperville, it's very easy to just uh, get one. You could buy one. It's like a fake ID. I don't know, dude. <laughs> that would be really funny if she got a fake ID. Imagine the, <laughs> the level. I shouldn't spread that. That's slanderous. I should not spread that. That's not real. Cultural appropriation, not the only thing that people are upset about. In one of her songs, she claimed to have healed a kidney infection via spiritual healing. And I'm here to tell you that that is not true. You cannot and will not heal something as serious as a kidney or an organ infection of any kind via spiritual healing, which has zero backing in science, zero backing in modern medicine, and just basically no place in, uh, you know, like, it makes no sense. What are you doing? What are you doing? It does add another layer of hilarious irony to the whole thing. She's like a fake hippie accused of cultural appropriation who's using the awesome capitalist algorithmic TikTok mega mind system to spread her message of healing her kidney infection via spiritual 
Warf I mean, what the f are you talking about? Just go take one round of antibiotics. <laughs> you know they come from nature, right? You know what penicillin is? Yeah, it's not like it's nanobots or lasers and shit. You don't need to endanger yourself massively. I can't wait for her to drop her next song about bloodletting and also drinking mercury. The shiny little liquid make me feel gonna live forever. Did that tree just talk or was it you? It was me, bro. I am dressed like a tree with you on your trip. I'm a bad trip setter, right? Really bad. And that's actually true. That's that comes from a real place. I will dress like a tree. All right. <laughs> I will put realistic bark on my face and I will f scare you. Ever heard of Red Cell, Richard Marchenko? That's like me, but with trip setting. If you have a weakness, I will find it. I think this dichotomy is what makes people most upset about this entire thing. It's definitely what bothers me about it is like, you got person using, making a career out of the most, va being a famous person for one is incredibly vain. You cannot be a famous person and utilize the tools required to be able to get to that point without being vain, shallow, at some point narcissistic, uh, and just heavily taking advantage of a capitalist system, right? I'm not against capitalism, but a lot of people are. A lot of people who are spiritual hippie people, they are against it. They like communes, they like small, you know, small scale stuff, which I don't disagree with that. I think a lot of that's really awesome too. I think that's what makes people most upset though, is just the irony, the unacknowledged zero self-awareness irony that is funny. I'm gonna use spiritual medicine and also upload my videos to TikTok. You're gonna do what? Instead of seeing a doctor, you're going to upload a song about healing a kidney infection. Kidney infection, I healed that too. Shut the f up. Also, a lot of people are mad about her having a child and putting the ideologies, her nonsensical ideologies onto the child. And then uh, I don't really want to comment on that. To be honest with you, I don't want to talk about someone, tell someone how to raise their kid, unless it's like blatantly obvious. I don't really know. It's more so just a tongue in cheek, sort of facetious, funny look into something that's ironically making me mad, okay? Okay, guys, I don't really want to talk about that. I, I don't know if she's a bad mom. I don't know. Posting your daughter on Instagram, that's weird. I don't want to do that. I would never do that. That's really weird. I would never do that. On to something funnier. People are a little upset over a uh, mm, lyric in a song, a really good song, a bit of a bop. Once again, I will sing it for you. Bitch, I'm from the Pallades, the love like they rate. I, she says something about the Pallades, okay? And that's, um, that's, if you don't know, Okay, if you don't know, if you aren't aware of this, if you're not keyed in, Pleiadians are an Aryan race of aliens that come from the planets Era and Timur in the Tegeta system, which resides in the Pleiades star cluster. If you didn't know, okay guys? Now, if none of that made sense to you, it's because it's all f gobbledygook, made up, nonsense. However, there are some people who have reportedly come into contact with these aliens things and believe that they are real and the original contactee of the Pleiadians was a swiss man named billy meyer who claimed to have talked to one when he was 11 years old in 1942. he claimed that they had germanic origins all right and were interested in the well-being and sociological health of mankind i'm not sure how much you know about the aryan uh hyperborean uh, schizo pipeline. This is a really bizarre thing to take seriously, even more so than light language and thinking trees are talking to you because you're tripping off acid. This is not really spiritual, this is stupid. And also, Pleiadians are Nordic aliens. Literally, they're just white people aliens. These are whitewashed aliens. What's the Pleiadian star seed? Hey, where are you at the Oh my God, I think Christina might be one of these. Oh, she's got kind eyes. And by kind, I mean piercing blue, balls of evil. My assumption, which is probably a bit more gracious than most haters online. As a hater, I, I'm a gracious hater, all right? She's using this in a spiritual context, um, spiritual vernacular. She has no idea what any of this stuff means. She's just posing and being vain and, and making a lot of money uh, off of this. Yeah, that one's a little bit more, more wacky. We just, we talked about aliens for a little while just there. Aryan aliens. Hilarious. Nordic aliens. Hyperborean genius aliens from the planet Pleiades. Or whatever the f The main criticism is that the hippie persona is just put on and she's standing on other cultures or whatever and is turned from love nature and love others to let me maximize this as much as I possibly can to make millions of dollars. She's talking about making millions of dollars in her videos as well. 
or songs or whatever. Farming, dude. Culture farming. I'm surprised there's not more people that do it, and I'm surprised that she's gotten away with this for such a long time and has gotten as big as she has. It's like, it's genuinely, I mean, a little bit, I got a little bit of respect for it. It's like, how can you be so ignorant to what people are saying and so just devoid of care and just be like, I'm in my own little world, I'm healing, got my kidneys, I'm pissing blood and stuff. And then like having a kid and living in LA, how can you f live in LA? How can you be connected to nature and live in Demon Central? And another thing is the fetishization of the culture. She's using her tribal style and stuff to make money on OF. So, I mean, you could argue that she's not or whatever. I don't really know or care, but uh, not interested. That's really weird. I, it's kind of odd. People love her though. I think this is the ultimate money maker for her though. I don't think the music's making that much. The merch certainly isn't. And how ironic is it to make merch mass produced merch and then pretend that it's good and you're a tree healer and stuff i dude i just cannot imagine being a sheep and buying this that you have to be so small small mentally so just living purely disingenuously to want to wear something like this to think you believe in spiritualism to think you believe in dude i i know rednecks that are more spiritual than this person and anyone who thinks that they are and watches shannon blake legitimately i, I legitimately know i 100 percent do for sure. It just seems so fake and dystopian. So anyways, she's done very well for herself. She supposedly was living in a trailer park, but now she's living in a mansion in the forest in Lake Tahoe, California. Bless up! Rags to riches, I guess, but holy shit, man. Yeah, 2024, we've got hippie, persona, nature person, saving planet, open your mind, spiritualism, but also flying private jets and driving Broncos, gas guzzling cars. There doesn't have to be consistency now. You don't actually have to be principled. You don't have to have honor, nobility. None of this is, is it's not real. It's just for, it's just for appearance. It's just how you're perceived. It's not actually real. You don't actually have to, to practice what you preach. You just have to look a certain way and then you can make a lot of money off of that. Good vibes only. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think down below. And yeah, I I'm, I'm, I'm feel like I'm still at the same point. I definitely do not like this at all, and, but I'm trying to keep an open mind. I'm trying to be nice, I'm trying to be understanding. I'm trying to be nice. And yeah, go to the Gump Club to see shit uncensored and get some free shipping and whatnot on Sour Boys. Use code STARSEED on Sour Boys to get 20% off, all right? New flavor every single Friday. We actually make the product. Unlike Shannon, when I sell things, generally I have an involvement in those things and I actually want to provide valuable stuff uh, in return for your time, literally, because it's not, you're not just giving me money. Money is a transaction of time. It's fourth dimensional. Shannon doesn't know that, I don't think. But anyways, genuinely appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.